Hey there everybody, Teacher Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to destroy a group of actors of all the same kind uh, by pressing a button. Uh, at least once a week this question is asked so I'm going to show you how to do that and then we'll take it a little one step further maybe and make it a couple different actors. Um, so right now I'm going to press preview and I have a little button here that just spawns some bad guys. And so let's say you wanted like a destroy all power up button or something like that that you can give to your player after they do something. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a game attribute and we're going to create it as a boolean because it's a yes or no answer. And we're going to call this destroy all. And we're going to set it to false because we don't want to destroy them all just yet. And I'm going to create a button. I'm going to put it over here. We'll call it a power up or whatever you want to want to call this thing. And let's go ahead and make it uh, blue or something. We're going to create a rule in here, and we're going to say when touch is pressed and attribute game destroy all is false, we want to change attribute game destroy all to true. And the reason why we're adding the false in there is because once they turn it, uh, once they press the button and make it true, we don't want them to be able to keep pressing it. Um, so we'll just keep it that way. And um, we're going to go into our bad guy actors and we're going to create a rule. And we're going to say when attribute game destroy all is true, we are going to destroy. So I have preview here. And I'm going to put some of these gag guys on there. You see they're not destroying. But as soon as I uh, hit this button here, they all die. And then I can create more, but they're still dying. And the reason for that is is um, we need to set the attribute back to... Um, sorry, in the, uh, in the button. We need to set it back to false. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a timer under here. And we're going to say after 0. Uh, four seconds um, run to completion we're going to alt copy this little be, uh, behavior here into here and we're going to say false we can probably make this at 0 0.1 let's just go 0 0.1 preview and so now I can spawn all these guys here press the button boom they're all dead and I can spawn more again no problem boom they're all dead um, so that's how to destroy a large group of actors with uh, the pressing of one button. But let's say you want to do it to different actors. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our bad guy here and I'm just going to add a self attribute here and it'll be an index attribute. And um, what bad guy? And um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a change attribute here and we're going to change uh, self what bad guy to random one comma two close bracket so when this is spawned it's going to change it to either one or two and then I'm going to tell it to display so we can see what's happening here display self what bad guy so you can see here I'm going to hit preview and now you can see you know summer ones summer twos okay so what we're going to do is um, we're going to go in and um, what's the best way to do this I guess we'll go in here into the button here and um, nope not the button we'll go into the bad guy and where we have our rule here we have um, destroy all is true let's go in and hit the plus sign and we're going to say when attribute self what bad guy is one so now when we hit preview and we get all our ones and twos here when I hit the destroy button it's only going to destroy the ones not the twos so now you can differentiate yeah I don't even know the word um, you can tell the difference between two different actors and just uh, destroy some of them um, so there's a lot of cool things you can do with that um, and then you can you know build some more actors again and still only destroy the ones and uh, so on and so on so 
you can do a bunch of things with that and uh, it's fairly simple to set up uh, it doesn't take too long as you saw and uh, I hope you enjoyed um, head on over to gshelper.com and underneath the video you'll be able to download this project file if you want to play around with it and uh, I hope you enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next video